All right, as you guys can tell, pretty hot. Just got out here to streetcar take over Charlotte and immediately start working on the car. Uh, we drove the car to the meet yesterday, the MEAT, and as we pushed it out of the trailer, got it back here, I noticed it was leaking something, as you guys can see. So I went down here feeling and, oh, wait, wait, hold on. No, no, that bolt broke clean off. Okay. That bolt is not just loose, it's broken. The head of the bolt broke off from all them here horsepowers. We'll fix it. So, just a little super glue, huh? Just a little bit. Would it be a normal day if we weren't working on something? No. That's like a wood screw thread, is it not? <laughs> fine thread so pretty much um saw it leaking obviously got loose we're going to take it off take it apart and kind of go through it uh see how much oil is in it if we need to put any oil in it locate some oil put it in there hopefully everything is good and we'll be able to run the car if not this is part of a car um kind of to go over everything front to back but some stuff rattles loose it looks like we have never taken the blower or anything off and it looks like it was never loctited when it was assembled or put together so loctite loctite is key right ben very important yes. so we got a lot of shit to remove to take that off huh right here. I would say that is your alternator frill pump. pump we gotta take the frill pump down and the beer. fuel pump at Burke coming off Ben give me an oh boy for this blower being intact oh boy, <laughs> oh boy. what do you think what are your thoughts on this uh, you, you know what I mean oh yeah this is, you know what, everyone at home is commenting, huh, you shouldn't have drove it on the street. <laughs> the worst thing that What's could happen is driving it on the street or driving it into a burnout and backing it up. Yeah, none. The worst none. thing that can happen is we don't race tomorrow. And or on the 13th. And we have to get a new head unit. And that's then the we, worst thing. You that, know, that's I mean, the worst thing. It's a simple little hole that was loose. That's so. Case Ontario. Twin turbos. Oh, but, no, we're staying with the blower. <laughs> Yes. If we get rid of this, we're going to a big roots. Or sorry, a twin screw. Twin screw. I approve of that. One. I approve of that too. Then we can refiberglass you know the hood. You know why? Because then I can do this. <laughs> then we can put tons of crankshafts in it. <laughs> Brad, we need to. It's a sacrifice. If you want to make 1100 wheel, that's the blower for you right there, bud. Do you have a, a spare F3 head unit with you? Wait, do you have any oil though? No. Do you? You're the pro-charger guy in the camp. Actually, don't leave. Huh. All right, ten. All right, Captain, 10 pounds. 19. Uh, oh, Ooh. oh. I finally had to upgrade from hose clamps to T-bolt clamps. Get, getting ready to stretch those head bolts, huh? Yes. Sorry, studs. 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 Oh, boy. Ben, that's a big blower, huh? Medium. What is that? The things for the gear drive? Cups? Yeah. God, wouldn't it suck to misplace one of those? Do you want me to bring the table up here? All they are are like me. They're like polyurethane. Yeah. I'll, actually, I'm gonna bring this back there. But this is like so much more or less ridiculous than turbo clock. Well, it's like the way you clock the cold side. Yeah. On some turbos. See, they had that them two washers. Yeah. You seen that washer that was bent? Oh, this, yeah. this is like That's the compressor at. cover. So it might have only just had this. Yeah, this thing's still got plenty of oil in it. Plenty of damn oil. Yeah, I checked the oil in it the other day. He pulled the dipstick out. <laughs> checked it. Brad, what you know about pro chargers? Not a whole lot. Just take three ounces of... You want me to go get Casey Hoard? He's down there with nothing to do. Who's that? Same shit. Yeah, that thing same. really has a dipstick? I yeah. Yeah. No, no, you're no. joking. You're not at all. Joking. You were, you were just kidding. Hey, hey, insert. Congratulations. You played yourself hold here. Can you hold it up? I'll hold the dipstick. That's yeah, you can tell because it had a turn on. When you need to turn it up, you turn that half a turn and, and that tells you where you're at. Well, you yeah. 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 If you pull it out, it'll make a big mess. Um, Have a good tire pressure gauge. This thing, don't buy this. See this? <laughs> <laughs> That's an 
non-special. Oh my god, what is that? Seven dollars? It doesn't. You can't. You oh, can't even push it. on. It just like leaks. It doesn't even read hey, properly. I bet it's better than the two incher that Ryan bought. Yeah, I said Ryan, go get me a tire pressure gauge. He gets me one that's like this big. God. Brad, you, my feet, I'm wearing sandals today, my feet are burning. My toes I'm, are just I'm on. good, man. Hey, you know what it is? Yeah, dude. Look at that. That thong tan line. Yeah, looks yeah. good. Yeah. Looks like it's lubed it's up cool. to me. Why don't it's you just change it while you have the blower off? Why don't you we just go and change it? We probably will. Yeah. You want me to go see if anyone has Pro Charger? Oh. It uses yeah. like oh. four ounces. Oh. Yeah. I don't know if this one uses four ounces. This is the big Papa Haas Daddy Macho Man. Yes. Look at Brett just cheering us on over there. <laughs> so I, I heard the conversation was there's bolts loose on the Pro Charger. We need oil for it. I'm like, well, it was leaking unless oil. This thing, like, unless all these came out and the case literally split apart. How do you know what we didn't do that? We didn't put, already put it back together before you got here. Oh, you mean if the case pulled its back out? Yes. Yeah. No blowing its butt back out of this car. Like if any of these bolts come loose, you ain't losing the oil. Hey. Walk around to that thing on your shoulder and be like, for sale, pro charger, come and get it. Oh, we are the, gonna have the cleanest blower at Streetcar Takeover. You'd have it. This is the homemade rubber mallet. You know why it's leaking oil, right? That little last blip on the throttle. You hate that. <laughs> Logan, justify that. Hey, Stevie, MF and fast, dog. Look, you want another thing? He, he's following Stevie's footsteps. Stevie started with a Pro Charger, then he went to a screw blown in. Now he's running a roost blower. You know, I'm not a mechanic, but I don't think hitting it with the hammer is going to make it stop leaking oil. I think it might. <laughs> <laughs> Just got to hit it hard enough, right? When people say I don't work on cars, I'm holding the camera and doing it. This is the first time he's been employed since 1947, when his grandfather was employed. Hey, okay, we're good. I got it. God, the hammer freaks me out. Oh. Holy wheel. Holy moly. Would you look at it? Would you just look at it? Would you look at it? Brad's about to tear up. Yeah. <laughs> you are. You are. Look at you. Are you crying? That whole, that, you're just the wheel is bigger than the housing. I want Brad to put a fresh cut. Can you put a, Brad, can you put a fresh cut on the edge of my blades for me? Yeah. Sharpen it like you would a pocket knife. Well, let's see if this will fit on my bracket and I'll run this for today and then we, we can give it back to you. If this thing got enough ass behind it, it would send the heads into orbit. Right. Brad, what you got there? Uh, yeah. A single one. <laughs> Turn it up, Brad. Turn it up. Turn it up. Like, all day. So, yep, spare parts from our guys at Holbrook. Your number one heavy parts people. Oh! What is that? Ooh. What is that, John? Rocker stands and rockers. This is the whole, we got both sides. We got right and left. Using a hammer to diagnose the pro charger problems. You hit it hard enough, and enough times it'll work. All right, we got the gear drive off. How are they looking? Pretty pissed? Yeah. A little bit angry. Oh. Wes, what you thinking? I don't know. like tearing it down at the racetrack, huh? It always makes for a handful of that. Yeah. Hey, look, it's VF Media. Oh, look, it's VF Media. Can I get the 
You want to put this back together? I'm on a clock. Yeah, oh, yeah. That Pro Charger weighs more than he does. It, it does. does. It does. It's a heavy. It's a heavy. It's like literally like a third of my size. It's a big old girl. It's a big old girl. So Brad, you entered the uh, modified street roll race class. Yeah, so yeah. What, what do you think so far? Well, that last pass, I'm definitely under mile an hour. If the car manages to stay in third, I might have a chance. But what, what did it do that last pass? Just kept it thrown it at, thrown itself out of third, man. Like hold it in that there. Second run, I like made sure I had that thing in there, and it just popped right back up. You know, you wouldn't have that problem if you had a power collide. I'm ordering ordering one Monday. Right wrong. Ordering one hey. Monday. Don't you worry. Real men pull the We finally converted Brad. Don't, I don't want to hear that out of you now. What do you think of all this, Brad? You know, I don't think they'd have this problem if they were a turbo car. <laughs> but, but. Why do you think I have so many trouble, like so many problems? I tried to tell. You don't even you don't even like do maintenance on that thing. We got to pull the gear drive apart. Is it blurry? Yeah, hold on. You might not be able to zoom in. It's no. literally trying to stretch the threads. Like, it's pulling the threads past each other. This bolt was probably this big to begin with, and now it's that now. Not that bad, obviously, but um, we just kind of kept pulling it down. Every time we'd see something loose, we'd just go a little bit more. That's torque. That's pro charger torque right there. Brad's blaming on my little throttle blip, but I don't think so. I think everything is fine, so. We need to get new of these. Home Depot, new sponsor. Coming up. What if you're going down track and then the grill flies up and gets stuck on the windshield? Right. <laughs> now let's make a bet. When you make your first pass and come back, how many still on there? Um, I think I'm gonna this this will be on there. <laughs> <laughs> one turn signal. One headlight, one turn signal. No, it feels like I'm throwing stuff at all going down. <laughs> Brad, you got a good one. I'll see him climb out. That's the trick. Then you gotta sit in there for about 20 minutes. <laughs> You're good. Woo, hell yeah. It's not made for giraffes. <laughs> New backup driver. Jackson, oh, Jackson's oh, out. Hell yeah. Jackson's gonna be so pissed. <laughs> Can I get an oh boy? We're going back together. Oh boy. Give me a, you need to pound it there. You guys were on a wild goose chase trying to find bolts and nuts and things and this and that and you're back. I was worried I was never gonna see y'all again. We sent it down the medium. I was worried y'all were gone forever. I was like, that's no fun. We made it back. But look at how much everything looks cleaner now. You know what? We're gonna go faster because we look good. There you go. That's it. Oh my god, you got these two? Yeah. Boy, I'm excited. Hey, Bo. Hey, Bo. Let me see it. Let me see it. <laughs> All right. Well, I was gone for a minute. I went, and in good spirits, I signed us up for the small tire class. That's a good move. Oh, hell. So now we have no choice. No choice. No choice. And everything is going back together. Ben looks good. Logan looks good. The boys came back with some food, some cookout. It's almost midnight. They just got done roll racing. God, how pissed is everyone going to be when we fire this sucker up? Oh, We're going to wait until about 4 30. <laughs> what, are you going to come back here yourself? Yeah, I will. I oh, you got the goods. God, that shirt is tripping me out. It's cool, right? Oh, my God. Remember that time you hit me in the face with the money? <laughs> <laughs> All $16. Oh, unbelievable. 
It's just throw it at the, just throw it at the Hemi anyway. Uh, I know, just, just, just eat it. It's, yeah, would you put the blower on there, start it up? <laughs> just going back together, huh? You gotta put the old frill pump on? Yep. Ben, tell everyone at home about blowers. What about them? What's your, what's your opinion on them? Honestly, just tell me with the truth. They're for cavemen. Blowers are for cavemen. They're old. Do we need to make a shirt with like a, a cartoon character of you holding two turbos, standing on a blower saying blowers are for cavemen? Yeah. I, I'm not the first one to say that. Hey, settle down. I'm not the first one to say that. That's I don't remember who originally said that. It was a while back. Ben is literally down to the last drop. It's like it comes up with fury though when it does like once you get it all worked down here there's quite a bit left in there so she gotta really beg for it she talked nice to it are you sure that thing's not i mean that most people would say that it's just dead at this point watch what it, time is it one we still getting it dog <laughs> we still getting it Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. Set screws in there. Everyone else is drinking beer. We're waiting for Loctite to drip out. The American dream. Wes is back up from his walking slumber. You look rough right now, Bo. I'm tired. One to ten, how tired are you? I'm tired. Would you sleep on the trailer floor right now? Yes. Send it. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna get my head cut off. I don't get to bed soon. Just kidding. What two step? <laughs> what two step? Foot brake king of the world.